Santa. Is it almost that time again for you? Come here. Mom, I'll read you a book. Want to do Fisherman and His Wife? Wanna do number one Sam and Fisherman and his wife? And do the going to bed book. This one's cute. The going to bed book. The sun is set not long ago. Now everybody goes below to take a bath in one big tub with soap all over. Scrub, scrub, scrub. <laughs> they hang their towels on the wall and find pajamas big and small. Come here, Karina. This is generally how book time during the day goes. Um, to exercise. And down once more, but not so fast. They are on their way to bed at last. The day is done. They say good night, and everybody turns off the light. The moon is high. The sea is deep. They rock and rock and rock to sleep. Here, want to do the fisherman and his wife? <clears throat> you guys have my lap for this one, though. This one's longer. That's actually how I try to do the intro. I like these little board books. They're pretty cute. Um, we have some of these. <laughs> she likes this one a lot, actually. She always plays with this one. Little Quack Count. I got this from, as you see, it says 47 on it. I got it from the thrift shop. Little Quack Counts. Little Quack and Waddle. See, one butterfly, Karina. One. One butterfly. Come here. Little Quack and Waddle. See, two fish. Can you hold it? One, two. Little Quack and Waddle see three ladybugs. Ready? One, two, three. Three. What about the violets? Don't you want to see the four violets? Little Quack and Waddle see four flowers. Karina, one, two, three, four. Right? That's how we count to four. Are you going to bite me? Oh, we bite you, baby. No. Little little quack and little quack and waddle see five bees. One, two, three, four, five. Yay! Five bees. Oh no. One. We do sign while we do this book. Two, three, four, five. Oh no, five bees. You gonna bite me again? I love you too. And I do think that's a sign of affection. What are you doing? I have no feeling in this limb anyway. You can see the scar. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. But I have a scar on this thumb and I can't really feel much in it. So. Come here. I actually, I cut it open. Anyway. 
Come here, little quackoon waddle. Hurry past four frogs, Karina. Karina, four frogs. Look, look. One, two, three, four. Come here. Look over. Look at the Santa baby. Ah, yay! One, two, three, four, four frogs. See them? Don't bite the couch. <gasps> four frogs. Little Quack and Waddle hurry past three dragonflies, flies, Karina. Oh. Three dragonflies. Look at them hurry past. One, two, and three. Hi. Little Quack and Waddle. Hurry past two turtles. One, two. Where are they going, Karina? That's right. Little Quack and Waddle rushed his, runs to one mama duck. Home sweet home. Look. Karina. Number one, one, Sam. Number one, Sam. Sam was number one. He was number one. What are you doing? You want this to make noise? Here, it's this one. There you go. Sam was number one. He was number one in speed. He was number one at turns. He was number one at the finishing races in number one spot. So, on the day of the big race, Sam wasn't worried one bit. He pulled up to the start, wished good luck to his best friend Maggie, revved his engine, and Karina. James was home for story time one day and he was actually awake. He's like, this is what you do for story time? I'm like, yeah, I read lots of books. He's like, this isn't really fun story time. She's playing on her own. Oh, she's playing alongside me. So, look. Boom. Boom. They were off. Zam zoomed up to speed and nailed all the turns. He and Maggie were neck and neck as they headed for the finish line. And then... Sam lost. <coughs> See, she's watching the look. Everyone was cheering for Maggie. Ex everyone except <coughs> Sam. Ah! Let me see. <coughs> what, baby? Sam couldn't lose. He was the best at speed. He was the best at turns. He was best at being number one. The night before the next race, Sam didn't sleep one wink. At the starting line, Sam was quiet. The cars lined up, the engines revved. Sam did not say anything to Maggie. He was too nervous. They seems a poor sport. It doesn't matter what place you come in as long as you're having fun. In fact, he was so distracted he missed the starting flag. Maggie and the other racers had a huge lead, but Sam quickly gained on them. He was driving his best. He soon passed to the front. Sam would be number one again. But then he saw them. She eventually watches the book, too. Five chicks. Five. Crossing the track. He was headed right for them. 
Sam could steer around the chicks, but would the other racers see them in time? Sam slammed on his brakes. Screech! He scurried the chicks to safety as the other racers flew by. See the chicks? How many are there? There's one, two, three, four, five. Sam finished in last place, the chicks thanking him the whole way. You are my idol. Can you slow down? I have to make a pit stop. Sam was disappointed. As he approached the finish line, he heard people cheering for the other racers. But as he got closer, where are you going? He realized they were cheering for him. And even though he lost another race, News. Karina? Karina, where are you going? His friend still thought he was number one. See him and Maggie, they made up. <laughs> and see? Alligator one. Yay! Want to do another book? All right, I think that's it for story time. Uh, we're gonna play with some blocks. I think she's in a playing mood anyway, so I need I need to clean up all these toys too. See, so lots of stuff to do today.